Hello and welcome. Uh, in our previous tutorial, we were able to containerize our client application. And uh, now the final service that we are going to add is uh, Nginx. So we will begin by creating an Nginx folder inside the root directory of the project. So we have Nginx. And uh, Nginx, uh, we will create a Docker file will help us in building the Nginx image. And then uh, we will also have a configuration file. So let's first uh, work on the Docker file. So making reference to the Docker Hub, uh, I'm going to add the Nginx 1.24 from uh, Alpine. And then I'm going to run, I'm going to remove the default configuration for Nginx. And then I'm going to replace it with my uh, Nginx uh, configuration. So this means that uh, I'll need to create this file. So basically when you pull Nginx, it normally has this uh, default.conf file, which is the default configuration for Nginx. Uh, but we want to use our customized uh, Nginx.conf. So I'm going to also create another file here, which will be uh, Nginx. So inside the nginx.conf, I'm going to add a few things or some lines. So we have the upstream uh, block. So we will have two upstream blocks. So in the context of nginx, uh, an upstream is a, an upstream is a refers to a configuration that can be used to group a, group servers, uh, which can uh, nginx can. Uh, proxy request two. So this is the concept of load balancing with which Nginx uses because it distributed it distributes distribute sorry incoming uh, client requests among multiple uh, backend servers. But in this case, we only have the one a single client and a single uh, backend server. So I'm going to add my upstream. So. Yeah, so in this case, I'm just going to replace this. My service is called Django. And it's running on uh, port 8000. Yeah, for the client, I'm also going to leave it as client. And it's running on port uh, 5173. Uh, then we're going to add a server block. And inside this server block, uh, we are going to uh, Tell the server to uh, listen to port 80. And then, and then we're going to add our uh, location with the various uh, param parameters. Yeah, so we'll have this uh, proxy uh, to the client. Then we have also set the redirect to off, and then we have set our uh, various uh, header uh, parameters. And then the other location item, we're also going to add an additional location item, which will be uh, the referring to the backend. So I'm going to get to refer to the uh, backend uh, URL, which will be API v1 uh, health facilities. So let me add another location block here. Let me just paste it here. So we have these API v1 health facilities, and we have the Django proxy pass. So for this one is client, and then we have another one for Django, and then we have uh, the header parameters that we are setting. So it redirects these to the uh, default server or the server name, and. Uh, so we will uh, rebuild our containers and then we see what we get. Uh, so this is uh, this is just the only configuration that we are going to do for Nginx. So remember, the main thing is that we are replacing the default configuration uh, for the Nginx. We are removing it and then we are uh, making use of this Nginx configuration, uh, or rather telling Nginx to use this uh, default configuration. So having done a few changes in the 
uh, Nginx configuration. There was an error here on the listen. There was a colon that was not supposed to be there. And uh, also for the server name, it was uh, there wasn't a space here. So it was one name. So I've also corrected that. And uh, the other thing is uh, when you come to the uh, the Docker file remains as it is. When you come to the Docker Compose, I refactored a few things. So we have the container name, which was not there. And then I've also added the ports, uh, just mapped the port 80 to the port 80 of the uh, host. So when you come to the client service, I have uh, removed the ports because the ports are being, it's being facilitated by this. I'm already telling Nginx to use uh, this location uh, points to the client upstream service. So I do not need to add the ports because it will automatically point to this uh, client service uh, with this uh, location. So when you start your server, uh, you can go to the you can go to the location or rather local host. So let me just remove this. So the service is running in the local host. And uh, for the backend, it's running on the same uh, port 8000. Because these are the two services that I have uh, created or have set their upstream uh, configurations in the uh, Nginx. Yeah, so this is what we have. So we have been able to set up our Nginx configuration. Uh, and this also this summarizes the uh, creation or the configuration of our application. And I also believe this summarizes the whole concept of configuring a GeoJango application uh, from the previous videos whereby we created a simple Django REST API uh, that serves geospatial data. And we have also created a client app that consumes that data and uh, renders the data on a map. And uh, we have also configured the Nginx, which is our proxy server. Uh, so for our, okay, you, you, do, you do not necessarily need Nginx in your local configuration, but for a production, in a production setting, you will you likely, highly likely need to create Nginx. So that's why I incorporated Nginx in this uh, tutorial. So you can monitor your logs. Uh, this is how they look like. Uh, you can also make use of the make file. You can extend it to your liking. You can add additional commands for Docker. And uh, you can also uh, reconfigure the Docker files uh, based on the Docker best practices. So we have completed our tutorial. And uh, if you like this tutorial, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, so that whenever I create more new content, you can be able to get a notification. Uh, you can also like this video and you can also share this video or the entire playlist with your colleagues. Uh, thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next tutorial or in a future tutorial.